Hey guys, um, I'm back with uh, another uh, coding video. Uh, I haven't done one since like November 2016, um, but I recently just started on uh, what's it called? Like a new like programming oriented um, education. I know I've been like kind of all over the place uh, you know, with educations and stuff, um, but you know this this one feels good finally um but yeah so this is like a tiny game i've made uh you can see we've got some high scores here uh don't say that's me and then zero index as well that's you know zero um i've got you know kind of like you know, this is just like how i keep like notes and stuff uh these are notes on how i did certain things like for example I use this website here to help me draw the maze. Um, and then this website here I used for collision detection. Uh, they had a really uh, nice explanation of how you can do line circle con uh, collision detection. Uh, then we have some gameplay notes, sort of just how the game works, I guess. And then controls. Which is fairly standard stuff, you know, reset key, nightmare mode. You know, a game has to have a nightmare mode, obviously. Um, and then just a bunch of stuff. Like, you can see here, this is for the enemies. Um, it handles, you know, their position, their speed. This here is for the lines. Um, and that, you know, that like handles their precision as well. Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of, uh, board objects. Uh, let me just go to the bottom to show you the maze thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. here. So you can see, you know, if, if you watch the, uh, <laughs> the previous game I did back in 2016, uh, this will, <laughs> will look only slightly better. You know, we have like what, uh... At least 250 lines of code just writing out the individual lines, which uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass to do. Um, and I could do it like way better, I'm sure. Uh, but this is just how I did it. Like, you know, basically hard coded everything. Uh, I made it so the, what's it called? Like, this is inside an, an array. Oh, wait, it's not inside an array. Uh, you yeah, know, this is the array. Uh, or it handles the array anyway. So basically, this uh, n uh, integer here is increased uh, every time you you like every time I make a line, I increase it by one, and I just do that over and over and over and over. But basically, that's how I handle it. So I didn't have to write, you know, like zero. One, two, three, all the way down to, I think it's like 119 at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's take a look at the game though. Uh, it's got, uh, it's got a, where do I put that? Uh, here, it's got like a field view that I'm controlling uh, based on the uh, inputs I put here, I just, you know, I make it so this object here can take uh, floats. And then I initialize it up here. And P, Y, and P, X are basically just the player's coordinates. And then FOV size is uh, up here somewhere. Here. And then I also have something called flicker, which basically controls um the flickering that the light does i think it'll make a lot more sense when i actually show it to you like you can see here flicker is passed in on the opacity of the fill so you know this is kind of like a grayish color and then it goes between it's, it's down here it goes between uh you know max 100 percent uh visible to invisible and it, it goes back and forth so this thing, you know, it, it like it reaches, or it starts at two fifty five, and then uh, it keeps going down until it hits zero, and then it turns around and starts going up. 
we also have a bunch of enemies that roam around, hence the name Ghost Maze. But I think anyway, I'm just gonna show you the game uh, as it is. There's a uh, there's a bug with the um, sound file. Actually, I don't need to comment these out. Uh, there's a bug with the sound file library. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, where it'll push out a I might as well show you actually. Uh, it'll push out a, an error um, every every time I start up the uh, the sketch here. So you see down here, it pushes out something like default output latency set to 80 milliseconds for Windows 8.1. Uh, I'm not really sure what the fuck that means, but it also happens on my laptop. So yeah, there's uh, there's some kind of bug with the library basically. So I'm just commenting it out because if I don't do that, uh, it's going to take like 30 seconds for the sketch to start, which is really annoying. Anyway, I, th I think that's enough uh, explanation about stuff. So you see, we start up here in the top left and there's an arrow pointing us to the bottom right, which is where you need to go. And then it says, find the exit, which is, you know, down here. Move with the arrow keys or WASD. And then you have a current time, which is basically just counting your seconds, and then fastest time. Uh, the first time you clear it, fastest time is going to be replaced by whatever your current time is. But after you already have a fast time, or fastest time, or high score, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's only going to update it if your current time when you, when you reach the bottom is lower than the fastest time, if that makes sense. And the time resets every single time you touch one of the walls. And it also resets if you press R or if you activate nightmare mode. I think we're gonna save nightmare mode for a second. You can see down here there's actually kind of a bug where one of the enemies is moving way too slow. If I press R again, he's gonna get a new speed. Basically I can constantly do this. I'm like constantly resetting. Uh, until everything has a good speed, for example, if you want to game the system that way. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, beat the, the maze. I kind of already memorized all the paths, so, you know. And basically, if the ghosts touch me, I get reset. Uh, I do have a few bugs, like you saw earlier, where ghosts have very, very low speed and barely move, so they block like corridors. Uh, and I also have a bug where they can basically lock you in the corner where they just get you stuck in a reset loop. Oh wait, I don't want to go this way. Um, du -du -du. Uh, I used to have them where you couldn't see the eyes in the darkness, but it actually made the game too difficult because they would just randomly pop up on you. And you could also see the field of view gets smaller every time they... Uh, come close. I do have a thing where you can actually only see them if they're within your field of view. Uh, but I actually don't really need that, to be honest. See, I just got reset there. Mm. There's also a portal hidden somewhere in the level. Let's see if we can scoot by this guy. Oh, no. Uh, the portal is pretty useful, uh, but I'm just going to show you the actual route first. Well, we can see if we can get a good time or something. Oh, here. I've managed to get a time of 40 seconds with the portal. Um, uh, yeah, when when you use the portal, it's kind of based on luck a little bit because they can be standing right on top of the portal, and you don't really know. Let's avoid this guy. Ah, uh, wow, <laughs> almost got me. All right, we're almost there. <gasps> ah, <laughs> son of a bitch. I, I clipped uh, I clipped one of the walls and it reset me. Ah, oh, that that's rough. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I'm not really paying attention now. Now I'm just flustered. 
I actually kind of like how the eyes look in the darkness. It's really, uh, it's really ominous. You see, if if the eyes weren't visible, I wouldn't actually know that thing was coming, and I would have just lost. So it's, I, th I think it was a good idea to add the eyes in, uh, because without them, you really don't have a chance, and it's just all based on RNG. My uh, my teacher was like, oh, uh, since you made a maze, you can just make it randomly generated. Uh, but I have no idea how to do that. Also, you can see it only becomes visible when it's within our field view. Then there's a little light cone, and when we go through, it resets us. But now we have a new fastest time. Um, I guess I should show you the portal now. basically just have to take a, a different path and it's kind of hidden out of the way on purpose uh, so it's like if you wander the wrong way you might actually still find something um, I might at some point add like power-ups or something you see there's the portal go through the orange you come out the blue one like in portal ah uh, I clipped another one Alright, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, have a look at Nightmare Mode. On Nightmare Mode, uh, the enemies are doubled. You can just see the difference here. There's 5, now it's 10. And their speed is doubled. Uh, your speed is also doubled. And the reason why you would want to use Nightmare Mode is because it counts uh, only every second second. Which means that it's possible to get really, really quick times. Both because of your increased speed and because of uh, uh, because of um, what's it called? You know the slower counting. All right, let's see if we can get a good. Well, okay, I'm, I'm basically gonna go for the portal. The problem is when they frequent the uh, the spawn like that because you can get locked in. It's a little bit harder to control with uh, double speed. Oh yeah, see now I'm getting locked in the corner. Uh, I, I need to make something where they respawn if they do that. But you know, for now it's not game breaking at least. It's just very annoying when it happens. I haven't actually beaten Nightmare Mode yet. I was basically at the end and I just rammed into the wall like a fucking maniac. Ah, uh, that's gonna fuck me. No, okay. Oof. We're almost at the portal. Come on. Ah. Uh, oof. That almost killed me. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, I got reset anyway. But yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to keep track of where the portal is. Which is, you know, kind of supposed to be that way, I guess. So it's like... You know, you can skip time using the portal, or skip time, skip uh, ahead using the portal. Oh, God damn it! Um, but you don't. Re if you don't remember where it takes you out, you know you might accidentally just spawn right into an enemy. Come on, portal! Oh God! See, I just spawned into an enemy there. I still think the portal strat is a little better for nightmare mode just because uh, you have to go back and forth a lot in a normal path ah spawned into an enemy again yeah it's supposed to be hard but it is kind of frustrating uh, but you know I think it's probably well balanced by the fact that the level isn't that big, oh, I just rammed into a wall. Like I think if it was, if it was a lot bigger or it took a lot longer to beat the game, it would uh, it would be really annoying. But you know, you can beat it in a minute or less. So I, 
think the difficulty is, is well balanced according to that. Okay, shit, shit. Hold on. Ah, uh, I need to tweak their hitboxes because, you know, they're diamond shaped, but their hitbox is basically a massive square. Yeah, there's a bunch of like, you know, small, small things like that. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I'm like my own fucking worst enemy right here. I've yet to beat it on nightmare mode, so I would like to. Ah, oh, shit. I think it's because I'm trying to take the corners a little too fast. Oof. <laughs> Also, the uh, the music is called Eight Bit Syndrome, and it's by a guy that's called Zero. Uh, the E is a three, and the O is a zero. So set three, R, zero, basically. Anyway, I'll I'll link to his uh, to his uh, video with the song or the melody, I guess. I feel like they're all like following me. Even though it's you know random. Their speed is basically just uh what's it called? Mirrored? Whenever uh or inverted I mean, whenever they hit something. Shit that guy's coming fast. Oh and we got a really slow one. Ah I hit the wall again, son of a bitch. It's hard to uh, to keep your eye on several moving enemies and the environment, uh, and especially with this color, you know you're gonna you know, you're gonna get really tired to look uh, looking at it like really fast. Fucking touch the wall this time. Ah, shit. I didn't see that guy. There's no one here. Come on. Yes. 14. Holy shit. That's pretty good. 14. So that would have been like 28, I guess. Man, 14. Holy shit. Uh, I'll have to write that down. Uh, let's see. Don't say dinner. 14. Nightmare mode. Heck yeah. Alright. Anyway, that's it. That's uh that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.